Hi everyone, Ryan from WordChamps. We had a question from Cliff on our Facebook page asking us to create a custom post type video, why, when, and how to use them. So uh, yeah, we've uh, actually done a little bit of research uh, because custom post types is uh, relatively new for us as well. Essentially, WordPress comes installed with five post types. You've got blogs, you've got the ability to add pages, uh, attachments such as uh, PDFs and, and um, uh, images. You also have the ability to make revisions and add menu items. So with those five custom post types, uh, it does limit you to what you can do with a WordPress website. So as an example, if you wanted to create an internet movie database, you would probably need to do some heavy customization in order to make that happen. Uh, but with the release of custom post types in WordPress 2.9, they've made it quite easy for you to add something such as a custom post type of movies. So to get you started quickly and easily, I highly recommend that you install the custom post type UI plugin, which you can find at wordpress.org underneath extend and plugins. Search for custom post type UI, download and install that uh, plugin. And once you do that, you should see this it show up underneath your admin area. You can see here ours shows up as custom post types. So if I click on that, I can add my first custom post type. And they're actually using the same example that I've uh, mentioned before. Let's say we wanted to create an internet movie database. I'm sure you can think of your own application. You would, the uh, first thing you'd want to do is cr first create a movies custom post type. So for post type name, we've got movies, label is movies, singular label is going to be movie. And we can add a description if we wish. We can also look at the advanced options, which I won't get into. But uh, let's go ahead and create that first custom post type. As soon as I create that custom post type of movies, we can see here in my left hand navigation, uh, uh, admin navigation area, we have posts, media, links, pages, comments, and movies. So we can pull that down and we can add our first movie uh, or we can edit existing movies that are there. Now if we go ahead and add our first movie, it looks very similar to a blog style layout. We've got er an area for our title and an area for our description, but nothing else. So with our as our example or going back to our example as a, for an internet movie database you probably want to have uh, meta information such as uh, actors uh, directors and genres and that's where taxonomies come into play so if you go back under custom post types and you click on manage post types you'll see here the movie post type which we've created is sitting here and we can click on edit and once we're in edit mode, we can actually start adding our taxonomies. So we can add one taxonomy called actors. And we're going to click on attach to post type of movies. And as soon as we create that custom taxonomy, underneath the movies custom to post type is actors. So we can add several actors. I've got two actors in here, Ryan and Tegan. And the list can go on. You can have multiple actors for each movie. And if I go back to movies, I've already created a movie. So if I go into movie one and hit edit, you'll see here underneath actors, there are two actors associated with this movie. And I can add more if I wish. Simple as doing that. And now this meta information will show up underneath this movie one custom post type. Now the interesting thing, the second part of this uh, tutorial, which we'll cover actually in another screencast, is displaying this information in a custom template. Now if I view movie, movie one, you see here it shows just like a blog post. We've got our title and our description. Now uh, we want that meta information also to show up so that people can see what actors uh, have played in this movie, also the directors and perhaps the genres or the genre that it belongs to. And that's going to be covered in a future screencast. But for the purpose of this video, I hope that I've uh, showed you what a custom post type is, how to use them, and when it's appropriate to use them. You can ask us more questions on our Facebook page, or you can also go to our blog, which is blog.wordchamps.tv, click on your request, and post your request there. Thank you.